Hi, good day. I'm Man Palma, a missionary from CFC Singles for Family and Life. And as we enter towards the end of the waiting period or what we call Advent, today in the Gospel, it talks about the Blessed Mary's Magnificat, a hymn of prayer and praise to the Lord. Today's reading begins with the phrase, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. In other versions, ang sinasabi naman is, My soul magnifies in the greatness of our Lord. And it struck me. Nastruck ako dun sa word na magnify. Kasi it reminded me of the magnifying glass. And what does it do? The magnifying glass, it enlarges the objects that it sees. Or it brings focus dun sa tinitignan na magnifying glass. So, dahil dito na -e enhance mas madaling makita when you use a magnifying glass. Mas madaling ma-focus dahil doon yung kung ano yung nasa harap mo. As you use the uh, magnifying glass, dito rin makikita mo rin na pwede rin madirect and bring focus yung light that is already there. Naalala ko dati nung nagka-camping kami, ang sabi sa amin, kailangan namin magsimula ng apoy. Ang gamit lang namin is yung magnifying glass tsaka yung papel. Ang ginawa lang namin, naghanap kami ng uh, araw, tapos pinokus namin yung, araw, yung magnifying glass doon sa papel habang nakafocus doon yung araw. So dito, doon nagsimulang magbaga yung paper na hawak namin. And that is the power of the magnifying glass. Its purpose is to be able na mabigyan ng linaw yung mga bagay na nakafocus, mas makita, mas maging maliwanag. Its purpose is also to help fire up an object. On its own, wala siyang purpose because it is created by the purpose of to enhance of what is already there. In the same way, just like the magnifying glass, ganun din si Mary. She herself knows that she is just a lowly handmaid of the Lord. But she serves uh, but as she serves her purpose, doon niya nakita yung blessing of being called. Not as to kung sino siya, but kung sino ang Diyos sa kanya. The focus of the light that her soul brings, which is Jesus Christ. She is just but an instrument to what is magnified. And ano yun? Yun ang light ni Jesus Christ. From how many Mary magnified the greatness of the Lord, we can learn three things. First, magnified by God through her courageous yes. Nung nalaman niya na siya yung pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, imbis na maging takot yung kanta ng puso niya, yung puso niya, Nagpuri at saka naggalak. Katulad ng kanta ng puso ni Maria, kapag tayo ay pinili ng Diyos, pag tayo ay tinawag ng Diyos, kahit may takot, may duda, kahit nag-aalangan tayo, maging ang puso sana natin ay tumaya at hindi pa rin at dumiretso pa rin kahit may takot. Dahil alam natin na ang Diyos na tumawag sa atin sa simula ay ang Diyos din na magdadala sa atin hanggang dulo. At alam din natin na ang pag-oo rin Maria ay hindi isang oo lang. Actually, yung pag-oo niya na yon ay simula ng marami pang pag-oo na gagawin niya sa buhay niya. As you can see, yung image ng Our Lady of Sorrows, yung puso niya, merong seven na, ano yun eh, na swords na nakatusok. Yung mga swords na yon yun daw yung mga matin, pitong matitinding lungkot at sakit na pagdadaanan niya sa buhay niya. And one of it is yung pagtayo sa foot of the cross. At yung ano at next is yung makitang ilibing si Jesus Christ. I can't just imagine the pain that she has gone through. Sabi nga ng mom ko sa akin before, sabi niya, ang pinakamahirap sa isang ina ay ang makitang ilibing ang kanyang anak. At isa yun sa mga pinagdaanan ni Maria. Pero in spite and despite of all that she has gone through, she still con continued to say yes to the Lord. At alam natin sa dulo ng kwento na ito, hindi din pinabayaan ng Diyos si Maria sa tapang niya ng pag-oo niya. She became not only a mother, she became not only the mother of Jesus, but she became the mother of us all. Second, because of Mary, Mary's minagnify niya, she magnified God's greatness through her humble service. When she said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, nung siya yung pinili, hindi niya na inisa-isa kung ano yung mga qualities niya, bakit siya yung karapat dapat. Mary knows that she is a lowly handmaid. She knows na wala siyang pwedeng ipagmalaki. 
Actually, nung sinabi niyang, all generations will call me blessed, it is not because of her own merit, hindi sa mga bagay na ginawa niya, kundi dahil sa kagalingan ng Diyos sa buhay niya. She is great because God is great in her life. Just like sa atin din, as we face people, as we talk to people, sana pagkausap natin sila, mag-shine yung sa muka natin, yung muka ni Kristo. Hindi dahil sa kagalingan natin, kundi dahil magaling ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Another thing that struck me about Mary is that when she found out that nagbuntis siya, nagdala-dala niya yung tagapagligtas, the one that is awaited by Mary, by many, hindi siya pumunta sa labas para ipangalandakan na ganito ako, ganyan ako, ako'y napili, ako yung nagwagi. Because she lived a life of humble service. At the end of the gospel reading, it is said that she stayed there for three months. As we know, Elizabeth was six months at that time. I think it's safe to assume that in the three months that she stayed, most probably she helped out Elizabeth in her last trimester. Meron din siyang dinadala, meron din siyang mga problema, pero hindi yung sarili niya yung inuna niya. Inuna niya pa rin yung ibang tao. Kaya, sa buhay natin, minsan ganun din eh. Minsan, marami tayong pinagdadaanan, feeling natin marami tayong problema, marami tayong mga bagay na iniisip, na ayaw na natin problemahin yung iba. Ayaw na natin isipin yung iba. Pero Mary showed us that the way to Jesus ay yung hindi yung unahin yung sarili natin, kundi ang unahin ng iba kesa sa atin. And third, and my final point is that she magnified God's greatness through her heart of gratitude. Sabi niya, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. Mary's heart was filled with gratitude and thanksgiving, proclaiming the Mighty and Holy One. Punong-puno yung puso niya ng pagpapasalamat. Alam niya hindi niya deserve yung pagtawag na to, yung maging ina ng tagapagligtas. Kung kaya't yung puso niya ay punong-puno lang ng pasasalamat at, pagpapu- at pagpupuri sa Diyos. And I think each and every one of us is ganon. There are so many things that we think we do not deserve, pero binigay pa rin ng Diyos sa atin. And our hearts are filled with gratitude and for the many blessings that God has given us, for the many things that we have received, deserved and undeserved. Like Mary, may we realize that we are filled with countless graces and may we turn to God in praise and worship at pagpapasalamat for all the things na ginawa niya para sa atin. If we summarize siguro yung three points in one sentence para mas madali nating maintindihan, it would be Mary magnified Jesus through her trusting courage, her some humble service, and her heart of gratitude. When we are courageously saying yes to the call, when we are serving in humility, and when we are living a life of gratitude, na mamagnify natin at naproproclaim natin yung kagalingan ng Diyos. Mary, who is filled by the Holy Spirit and pregnant with the Son of God, yun yung kanta ng puso niya, yun yung magnificat niya. And she is the first disciple. Sabi nga, di ba, when Mary first said yes, before she conceived Jesus in her womb, she, con- she conceived Mary in her heart. And because of this, she became the for- first disciple. And also, because of this, yung sobrang punong-puno ng puso niya, Walang ibang pagsisidlan yon kundi ang pumunta at lumabas to proclaim the greatness of the, of the Lord in her life. And that's where it began, the evangelization work in her life. May we all, in the year of the youth, be like Mary, matapang to say yes to the Lord by allowing God to use us in ways that we have never dreamed possible. Sabay-sabay tayong magpagamit sa purpose kung bakit tayo ginawa ng Diyos. May we all magnify the Lord in our hearts and in our lives. At sa dulo, sabay-sabay din tayong kakanta, katulad ng kanta ni Maria. Ang puso ko'y nagpupuri, nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Nagagalak ang aking espirito sa aking tagapagligtas. Muli, ako po si Maan Palma. Bumabati po sa lahat ng isang masaya at mapagpalang Pasko. Maraming salamat po. Christ the Lord is born today. The ch-
child who with us comes to dwell to be for us Emmanuel.